Okay, in this video, we will be combining like terms. Now, what do we mean by like terms? Uh, we mean terms that are alike. Now, to be alike in algebra, they have to have two conditions that they meet. First, they have to, the terms have to have the same variables. And second, each of those variables has to have the same exponent or power. So, has to meet both. Has, uh, the terms have to have the same variables. And each of the variables in the terms has to have the same exponent or power. Let's look at a couple examples. Here we have 6x cubed minus 5x squared plus 7x plus 2x squared minus 9x plus 3. Well, let's break these out of their parentheses and write all our terms straight across. We do that here. Straight copied. And now we're going to go by order of exponents because, of course, in standard form, we have the highest exponents first. So let's see. x cubed, x to the third, would be our highest. The third would be our highest exponent. Let's see. No x to the thirds. Remember, we have to have an x. And it has to be to the third power. Uh, nothing there to combine. Nothing there. Nothing there. Nothing there. Nothing there. Well, we'll just copy down 6x to the third. There's nothing to combine him with. There's x's, but all the x's are not to the third power. So we did x to the third. Now we'll move down one power of exponent and we'll look for some x to the seconds. We'll look for x squareds. And there's one. And that's an x, but remember, that's x to the one. Even though there's nothing written there, there is a one there. Now he's not x squared. Can't, can't combine him. Oh, well, there's one. We'll circle him. Uh, nope, that doesn't work. And that doesn't work. But we can combine minus 5x squared and plus 2x squared. So, minus 5 plus 2 gives us minus 3x squared. So far, so good. Well, we did x to the third, we did x to the second, and of course, now we'll do x to the one. And we see, oh, there's one. Now, remember, again, there is an exponent of one there. It's just not written. So there's a 7x to the one. And there's a minus 9x to the one. Uh, that piece doesn't work. So we have 7x to the one minus 9x to the 1, and we get minus 2x. And you see here we've brought down the 6x cubed. We already said we've combined everything we could there, which was nothing. We've brought down the minus 3x squared. We've combined the 7x minus 9x to get minus 2x, and we've brought down the plus 3. And we did x to the 3, x to the second, x to the 1, the only other piece would be just a number which would be which uh, could be thought of as having x to the 0 next to it uh, and we have just the 3 no other it has no x's here and of course there's nothing that we can combine the 3 with so here is our final answer now that was fairly straightforward I think let's take a look at an, an example that's got a little bit of a a little bit of a twist to it. Let's look at this next example. Now, of course, in this video, I'm going one step at a time. You certainly don't need, once you get comfortable with this process, you certainly don't need to uh, write down all this information every step of the way. You can probably do a lot of this visually 
and that will save you some time and some space on your paper. Okay, next example. 5x to the quantity, there's in parentheses, 5x to the fourth plus 2x squared plus 9 minus quantity, not the parentheses, quantity 12 minus 3x to the fourth plus 6x cubed minus 2x squared. Got a lot of pieces in here. So let's, let's break these terms out of their parentheses. Uh, let's see, 5x to the fourth. 2x squared plus 9. Now, take a look at this. This negative outside these parentheses. This negative is the same as multiplying negative 1 times every term in these parentheses. So, when we break these terms out of their parentheses, we have to multiply negative 1 times each of them. Now, we'll see that that will have the effect of simply flipping the signs, the positive or negative signs, on each of these terms. Negative 1 times t positive 12 is negative 12. Negative 1 times negative 3x to the fourth is positive 3x to the fourth. Negative 1 times positive 6x cubed is negative 6x cubed. And negative 1 times negative 2x squared is positive 2x squared. So when you're doing these type of problems, be careful. If there's a negative sign here, if you're doing subtraction, be careful to apply it to every term in the parentheses. All right, well, we've got our terms broken out very nicely now. Uh, let's uh, start with the combining, whatever we can combine. Now, our highest exponent is 4 in all these terms. Our highest power of x is 4. So we'll start with 4. So x to the fourth. We've got him, can't, nothing there, nothing there, can't combine him. We need x to the fourth, nothing there. And there's one, there's an x to the fourth. Uh, nothing there. Uh, can't use that one. So 5x to the 4th plus 3x to the 4th will give us 8x to the 4th. And of course we'll copy down, copy down, copy, copy, and copy. Well that was x to the 4th, so again we will move down one level of exponent and we will look for x to the third and see if there's any that we can combine. Uh, not x to the third, not x to the third. Uh, no, there's one. Not x to the third. Well, there aren't any to combine. There's only one of them in all of this. Uh, but we should put our answer in standard form where the powers of the exponent decrease. The, the highest is on the left and the powers of the exponent decrease. So we'll rewrite this as 8x to the fourth, and we'll bring this minus 6x to the third. He should come next. We're going to go in decreasing powers of exponents. So we'll, even though we didn't combine, he should be after, directly after, 8x to the fourth. Uh, so we've done x to the fourth, x to the third. Now we'll do x to the second. Let's see if there are any. Here's one. Uh, no, no. Here's another one. So we can combine 2x to the second and another 2x to the second. Copy, copy. And we get 4x to the second. And then finally, as you can see, we would look for x to the 1, uh, but there aren't any x to the 1s. And then we'd move down to x to the 0, which would be just our numbers with no x, uh, no x variables attached. And we'd have 9 minus 12, which would give us minus 3. And this would be our final answer.